Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and this is Pathfinder Solutions series and we are in the chapter of current electricity. This is an objective type question given in the book and uh, usually bugging students about how to actually solve this question. Okay, so let's move ahead uh, for the formal wording of the question. You have a circuit in front of you in which he says that uh, it contains a battery as you could see and five unknown resistors. So these five resistors are unknown. When an ideal ammeter is connected between terminals A and B, the reading is four ampere. And when a resistance of three ampere is connected in series with the ammeter, its reading becomes two ampere. So there are two cases, two readings he has given across AB. Now the ammeter and the resistance are disconnected and an ideal voltmeter is connected between the terminals A and B again what would the voltmeter read? Okay, so this is a kind of a uh, question where uh, you would be requiring some sort of analysis uh, known as, okay, so you want to uh, give it a try on your own, just pause the video and uh, try it for one or two minutes and then we we'll go ahead with the solution. So I'm here, here by going ahead with the solution. So the thing that you need to solve such circuits with unknown resistors and unknown batteries or in general, right, when it contains a lot of batteries and resistors is a part of a theorem or a general theorem called as Thevenin's theorem. Okay, so Thevenin's theorem is going to be applicable in even higher level circuits like AC circuits also. So what we are going to deal with for this particular physics challenge is a uh, special case of that in which we are going to deal with only DC circuit and resistors and cells. Okay, so it talks about a combination of resistors and sources. Sources means voltage sources or current sources can be simplified down to a single voltage source in series with a single resistor. So this is the statement of the theorem. So just explain it diagrammatically. If you have a box of many circuits, all these things are connected and just they have shown as an array, but this is all a messy mesh of circuits. Let's say it's a grid of circuitry with a lot of voltage sources and current sources, resistors, etc, etc. And there are, let's say, nicely two terminals out of that particular circuit. So for solving this circuit uh, in connection with any external load or any external another circuit, you can replace this entire thing according to Thevenin's theorem with a simple uh, non-ideal cell, you can say. It's a non-ideal cell where you have an EMF and you have a resistance, okay? So the value of that EMF is known as V Thevenin or simply uh, written as VT and R Thevenin is the resistance in series. Actually, there is another uh, theorem which is similar to Thevenin's theorem called as Norton's theorem, wherein replacement would be with a current source instead of voltage source. So I've just taken a part. So in case you're curious, because it's a theorem, there should be a written proof for it, right? So the proof to the theorem is in the link in the description below. It's a big write-up in which not only Thevenin's theorem, even Norton's theorem is discussed, okay? So in those who are really curious about the proof, I couldn't include it in the video because it becomes very, very lengthy, uh, but it's a very simple one. So you just need to go through that link in the description below. Okay, right. Now that we have established the theorem that you can replace any uh, circuitry like this with a simple equivalence like this, this is called Thevenin's equivalent. Okay, so we'll take that into our challenge in this manner. So this is our challenge where he has mentioned points A and B where the connections are being made. Now, according to the theorem, I'll equivalently write it as a uh, sequence of V Thevenin and R Thevenin between points A and B. Now I'll, I'll apply this, that into the three cases of connections that he mentioned in the question, wherein the first connection was about ammeter, which is an ideal one. Ideal ammeter is having a zero resistance. So the reading was taken and the second case ammeter was connected with a resistance of three ohm in series and then again reading was taken. And finally, a ideal voltmeter was connected and a reading was taken. So let's see what the readings were. In the first case, the reading is nothing but the VT divided by RT. This is also known as short circuit current because the uh, resistance of this ammeter is almost negligible. So this is a short circuit current, which he gave us four ampere. And the second case, you have uh, a normal loop of current. Okay, so VT drives both RT and three in series. So you end up having this. So solving these two equations, you can directly get the value of VT and RT. That's the advantage of Thevenin's equivalent. Now you can use this equivalent 
equivalent in any other new circuit, which in case three he said is a ideal voltmeter. An ideal voltmeter is like an open circuit because resistance is infinity, and therefore it just reads the open terminal voltage, which is RT doesn't have any uh, say in that voltage. Therefore, the reading would be VT itself, which is 12 volts. So the reading would be ideal voltmeter would be reading 12 volts. So let's search whether the option is there in the given question. I think yeah, it is, and it should be. So the answer should be C. Okay, right. You have uh, some questions uh, similar to these things in Croto. There is a Croto question of 3.38 that you can actually try. 3.38 in Croto, which is similar. And there are some questions even in Pathfinder in build your understanding and challenge uh, check your understanding sections. So, uh, black box questions were given. So in that also you can have a practice of this Thevenin's equivalent. OK, so I'll bring up more questions on Thevenin's and Norton's equivalent uh, so that you can get a good practice in the near future. OK, so uh, to check out the rest of the Pathfinder solution series, you can have a playlist link in the description below. I have placed just go through them in case you're new to this channel and also the rest of the important series that are parallelly running in this channel, which would be the MPR workout series, AATS select series, and the result series. What are they and all that? You can just go through those links in the description below. And in case you like all of this and the content, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Physics Surgery, and make sure that it actually gets spread and we get more friends in our channel trying to spread the topic. Okay, right. So uh, all the best and see you in the next video.